So I wanted to give you an alternative protocol for steroids, especially prednisone, cortisone, anything related to the synthetic version of cortisol, like prednisone, steroids, anti-inflammatories, simply because the side effects from this are huge. And a lot of people have inflammatory conditions or they might have poison ivy. And um, what happens is as soon as they start taking this, let's say, for example, they get poison ivy every year or whatever, and now over time it works less and less and less to the point where it doesn't work anymore. And so now they're in a, between a rock and a hard place. So I want to give you a natural prednisone alternative. So this protocol would be uh, to some severe inflammatory reaction, whether it's rheumatoid arthritis, poison ivy, or whatever. What you have to know is that cortisol is made by your adrenal cortex, it's the outside of the adrenals. You have two adrenals on top of the kidney. Cortisol is the natural anti-inflammatory in the body. It suppresses the immune system. And this is why when someone is injected with a steroid, um, they feel less pain and less inflammation. But it comes with a big package, a lot of destruction to that area of the body. So for example, if you had arthritis in the joint and you got injected over and over and over with a steroid, eventually you are going to destroy the joint because of the side effects and you're also getting rid of the natural healing process. So here's an alternative. In order to make cortisol, you need the cofactor of vitamin B5, you need vitamin C, and there's also receptors for vitamin D in the adrenal. So in other words, vitamin D contributes to the enhancement of cortisol and helping it work better. So if you have cortisol resistance, which is basically a situation where you have cortisol that's really, really high, and then now uh, the receptors have downgraded and now it doesn't work anymore, uh, vitamin D can greatly help you kind of reset that. So this is the protocol I would recommend for an intense inflammatory reaction. Let's just use poison ivy, for example. So let's say you just, you're exposed, now you have itching all over your body. What would you do? I would recommend taking vitamin B5, 500 milligrams, vitamin C, buffered. Yes, this is synthetic. I would get the non-GMO version now, 1,000 milligrams. I normally do not recommend this, but as an anti-inflammatory short-term um, purpose, I would recommend it. Okay, and then vitamin D, 10,000 IUs. This combination right here, I would take this every 15 minutes for two hours just to chill everything out. Then I would take this combination every two hours for the rest of the day. And then after that, if needed, take this protocol twice a day until things are chilled out. So this is just a way of naturally uh, calming things down um, as you do things to kind of correct it. Like get yourself on keto intermittent fasting to build up your immune system, so I just wanted to give you something as an alternative to this right here, especially if this doesn't work anymore and you're stuck between a rock and a hard place. And uh, of course, just check with your doctor before taking these recommendations. Thanks for watching. Before you go, if you have a question about a product or you're new to keto and you want to know how to begin keto or you're on keto and you need a debug because it's not going as smooth, I have a keto consultant standing by to help you. This is just for the people in the US. Hopefully in the future, we'll be able to answer everyone's call. But I put the number down below so you can call and get some help.